everyone, I'm Matt from the Psycho. We're back with more Skyrim. Today I will attempt. Oh. Hello? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. So happy to see you, friend. So happy. Oh wait, I forgot I'm here. Where am I? Forgot what I'm doing here. Ascadia. Get off the deck. Get off the deck. You listen. Be the victor. I am magic. What are you? You are metal. What way? Magic or metal? We will see. enough backtracking in games no more <laughs> Yes. Dead 
Maria! Finger slip. How <laughs> did this little bug not notice me? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. No, well. Hello, friend. How are you? Nice to see you here. I am become makeshift bug zapper. Yeah. How my sneak skill lets me do this. I am so sneaky. I am right in front of it and it does not know. Let's take a close look. You have got pretty mouth. He's got pretty mouth. Oh, now he notices me because he's touched me. I am the bug zapper. You will bow to me or you will die. Come here. Die. No running. I think fun. Happy birthday in six days, friend. Hello. Happy birthday in six days, Exoda Kitty. I know it from DeviantArt. Even Art said so. Or do I have to go to find this damn sword? Seriously? Oops. I want to go continue the Thieves Guild stuff. And do a Daedric quest, actually. Well, maybe. to give up the sneaking and just go in towards blade. Get in and out of this place. You know what? Screw it. Charge. Oh, 
Let's go loud. Come here. Easy. Oh. quicker than just go on, go on carefully. Up, oh, dead bandit. Now we go this way. Figure out where to go. You can hear my voice, right? Hello, hello, yep. The mic is working. Oh, there's a lot of chests here. I like chests. Chests are nice. Oh, who left? What's wrong? are a bit uncomfortable right now. Let's, let's go. We're off to see the wizard. Tingle up my back. Weird. <laughs> Greeting. Yeah, that's... 
feels a lot. Love it. If it's pretty, we pick it up. Most of the time. Okay, seriously, how deep are these ruins? I want to get back up to the surface so I can go do other quest stuff. Oh, why, hello there, big guy. I see you. this weird elevator.
Well, before I go to Ripton, I'm gonna go to this place. Lord Boethius faithful. Have you come to test your metal? Is this some kind of cult? We are forged by Boethius' example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blades. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. And yeah, fuck you too. Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomark, the Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and She who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. Okay. My heart is full of purpose and my life If you desire deep. a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. Yeah, it's messed up. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. This is Next, up. instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. Ceremonial. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome you as one of us. This is good. So yes, I gotta go. Hang on. So I gotta go get someone to come follow me like a companion or like a, someone who very much trusts me a lot and I can bring along with me somewhere just so I can bring them back here and kill them yeah this dangerous quest is kind of me hmm hang on now there is a secondary thing you can do I could go and kill every last person up there, and then Boethia will talk to me anyway. But she'll want me to bring a sacrifice anyway, which sucks. I might as well just go get the sacrifice, then come back. And kill everyone. So, time to go to Ripton. What the hell? Right. So, I'm gonna continue with the Thieves Guild quest line. Let me go to Riften itself. Ah, oh, forget it, I'll go to Missile Keep. Are you still there? Hello?
Hello? Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? Oh, shut up. How's Monster Hunter? Welcome back. You're a stranger here too, huh? Astonishing! To think you actually were able to reach it, and yet return to tell the tale? Rarely in my travels have I encountered those who possess skills equal to your own. I see I still have much to learn. If you'd permit me, I'd be honored to accompany you in your travels for a time. Oh, please, no. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? I try not to care. Buy some armor and live to tell about That's it. a shame. Too many people in Riften share your view, and look where it's getting them. It's going to take more than just myself and Eren to help this city. It has to want to help itself first. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Riften, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. Yep. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. Well, there is Ingun Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend... Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi. The worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. I see I still have much to learn. Lead on. Okay. Well, hang on. I need to tell some crap. You've been a good friend. The finest weapons and armor. I'm gonna drop a lot of stuff. Return any time. You're quite welcome. Yeah, we'll figure out when to do that. Where 
have to go through here to go get there again. Game. Would I be attacked? Go into the through the shortcut or something. Some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. No oh, shit. Are you ready to face the guild? No, duh. I'm ready to punch someone in the face. Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Oh, and I Remember, will punch him. We have proof, and all he's got is his word. Let's Keep go. your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. into a few people as well. Oh cool, we're completely strength. Oh yeah, that's right. Keep moving, Carlisle. Let's just go. Come on. Waiting for you in the cistern. No tricks. Oh, really? Vex is ready to tear you apart. I hope you have a good excuse for bringing Carlia here. They're waiting I for do. you in the I cistern. You guys no guys tricks. Say anything else? Got it. Hello. Welcome. They're waiting for you in the cistern. No, duh, no dude. tricks. Stop talking, Garthar. We're ready to get play. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna level up thing up first. Wanna try me, guys? You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Oh, try Please, me. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I'm not I have proof mine. that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. I like both of your now voices. Now, what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. Have you? It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Mega Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. Is it possible? Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. Yeah. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Hurry up. Ah, seriously, come on, game. I hate how it does that. Like the eight. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. Ah, well, let's see. You get at least the steel battle axe and steel mace, but. Yeah, he's been picked clean. Oh, hang on, there's salt pile in the gold. The gold, the jewels. It's all good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. Ah. We can't afford to lose our heads. 
We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Pull up a seat. Oh, you're back. I oh, hear yeah. it. He's a pa the Get guilt. The I'm gonna tell you. When you walk through the guilt, Alfred, Morin, the guilt, I'm gonna tell you. Whatever. When you walk through the guilt, don't be talk at his But the guilt, I'm gonna Jack. tell you. Uh, when you Delvin, walk through the guilt, don't be ashamed to hold your head high. Well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If Maybe you happen across any other unusual, it's worth quite a bit, actually. Quite a catch. There you go. It should make. Well, well. I was look. If you happen to cross, what please. a delightful find. This should cover it. Also picked up the dad gum. Oh, I hate how it does that. So be troubling, yeah. I'll listen. There we go. Seriously, I hate these damn headphones. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus' diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Okay. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Okay. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. I'll take care of it. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. I'm not Just afraid find of a way out. out. Get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Oh, yes. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself. And that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Okay. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. A watchdog, huh? Oh, that'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Not an actual dog. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Oh. Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key. Delvin has a key. And Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Okay. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else in that madman. Oh, hey. 
Oscar Elias. Only if Brunel has an open mind, and that could have gotten bloody. Oh, yeah. Bloody hoorah. Much more fun. Punishment's too good for Mercer Frey. The only penalty for his betrayal is death. If I find Mercer first, I'm gonna crush his skull with my bare hands. Cool. Hey, Vex. Let's talk. You need to stay focused in case... Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all in one... I handle... If you don't like that kind of work, talk job, to Delvin. Okay? Pretty simple. The catch... You ready for some good old fat... Alright. Take this and get out of here. Can we talk? That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? Think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. True. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I would. Punishment's too good. Punishment's too good for Mercer Frey. Yeah, we get the it. The only penalty for his betrayal is death. Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. I'm Albany. a priestess. I the presume you're involved. Why would you want to help that idiot? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. I know where the quill is, man. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honyuk. The, the wizards called it the Quill of Gemination and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. The quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in exacting detail. I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only to myself. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. I had Vald meet the caravan from Winterhold on the western end of the lake so he could avoid the road. The idiot got lost in the mist and ran his boat right over some rocks, sending it straight to the bottom. He's too stupid to remember where he was. And any attempt I've made to find it in the past has been unsuccessful. Oh, really? Yeah. Vault said his rowboat struck some rocks. I'd check under the water near one of Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. All right, all right. Let's see. Maven here said she couldn't find this quill. No matter how hard she looks. I will find it easily. Come on, load game. Please. I would get you something if I would get you something, but I don't know. I don't live nearby. 
How can I, I help a brother Noor? But I don't live nearby and I don't know what we would like. Ah! Uh, I got hiccups. Ah! Uh. Hello? Eyes open for a sunken boat. I'm gonna be stupid here. I doubt that. Oh, 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 uh, yep, invisible wall. Board. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Good. Need something? Thank you. You have questions? Nope. Oh. 
sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. You've caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear to me. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? I'm not judging you. I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of... She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. I... yeah. Come on, get the truth off your chest. Okay, look. If I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice, and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Nah. Lady Maven's been developing the secret recipe for Black Briar Mead over the last several decades. She uses a very secret blend of spices, fresh honey from Golden Glow Estate, and specially constructed aging casks to ensure the best flavor. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. Damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Look, just don't say anything to Maven, will you? I've spent weeks trying to get that right, and if she sees how stupid I am, she'll get rid of me. Yeah. Fired. Sure. That's what I meant. Oh, wow. She fired Come them back and by see us killing again. them. All right. Maven. I presume you're bothered. The quill. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vald. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Got it. Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? No. Vault! Now he could be glitched. I probably could not be able to talk to him. This is Mercer Frey's place, and he don't like visitors. Now go away. There you go. Of mine? What is it? I can't believe it. How'd you talk her into this? Never mind. I don't care. I'm just glad I don't got to work for Maven anymore. Here. You did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. See ya. Welcome. Oh, hello. All right, oh, yeah, okay, the gate phases right through. I don't think I can enter from that. Ah, 
mediodía. Ajá, there is some people here. <laughs> Two threes. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me. Ah! Huh? Ah! Oh! Bastard! Ah! Oh! Oh, suspicious cabinet. La di da 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 da. Your traps will not work on me, sir. certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dower to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the port portcullis, unlock the armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle box chest. You need to teach me a little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual job spot, and you might have another job for you soon. R. Who knows what the usual R is? <laughs> ah. Yay, 
pay for a nice drink of water. Drink it. Drink water. I shall take the merchant's plan, and I will take this bust of the great box. <laughs> And I shall take this unique item, children. The sword, the glass sword, children. And I shall use it for fun. I shall display it in a house. That's all it is good for. Oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Ay, ay, ay. Tired. Stupid pill. Stabbed it. Can't talk long. Gotta keep my eyes open for Bursa. Erica, best of all, the guilt are gonna tell you. When you walk through, well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other one, you must have come from Bursa's place. He'd admired the Grey Fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy it from you. Here you are. Punishment's too good for Merciful. Punishment's too good for Mercer Frey. The only penalty for his betrayal. Dead. It's too early for sleep. It's too early. Ah, oh, my freaking legs. Oh, come we on, the game! I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Hair. I hate this. I thought this was bad in the Xbox version, but no, it seems to be worse here. We've scoured the town and I've spoken oh, oh, to every oh, contact oh, we have oh, left. Oh. No sign of Mercer. No, no, Any luck no. On your end? Okay. No! Come on! Who's tanker? Stay straight up, damn it, please. 
We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Just taking me off. Any luck on your... Shut up, bring you off, I'm busy. Scoured the town and up. Shut up, Brinio. Spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. This is stupid. Any luck on your end? Why is it that we grab everything by the bottom of the game? Thank you. Holy crap. We've scoured the town and up. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good, and set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Gotcha. Until next we meet, Lon. Decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. Hmm. I you're the one everyone's for. I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to. Oh, no, no. You don't he look betrayed so the guild. To me. Murdered Gallus I mean, and made us question you know, our right future. But well, you must be doing something to die. Finally. Very now I can get back to work. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. But it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rift, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the stone. Got it. What do you need? Good to see you again. Yeah, what about okay, go. Come on. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh. <clears throat> Morrowind, of course. Any Dunmer worth their weight in ash would tell you the same. I used to be a member of the Morang Tong. We were an assassin's guild that was sanctioned by the Empire to provide public as well as private executions. We did this in the name of Mephala. Whom I used to quite fervently worship. No. In fact, the Tong were quite the bitter rivals with the Dark Brotherhood. Really? Where they operate within the shadows, we operated on the side of justice. Why didn't you stay with the Tong? I didn't have a choice. When the Red Mountain erupted in Morrowind, the Tong fled, spread to the Nine Winds. We made a pact that one day we might reunite. But I believe that day is long in coming. Okay. Have you taken leave of your senses? If the Dark Brotherhood discovered I had been a Morang Tong, they would have come after me with a vengeance. Better to stay out of sight and ploy me trade with the Thieves Guild than risk a contract on me head. Okay. I should hope so. The Dark Brotherhood is also known to place contracts on those who associate with the Morang Tong as well. Oh, I'm so, not scared. Unless you wish a visit from one of their own, I'd suggest you follow your own advice and keep your mouth shut. I'm a member of the Dark Brotherhood, you idiot. Don't hurry back. I won't be waiting. Sure, we can talk a minute. What's going on? What the hell are you doing out of the flagon?
First, I want to get some stuff done. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here. Stop yawning. Someone who can get things done. I'll upgrade this. Oh, 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 come on, no. care not to set anything on fire. Uh, a fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your uh, hands. Got some good pieces out here. It's hard staying awake without having someone to talk to. Hello? Hello? I don't claim to be the best. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, the city. My nighttime pal. Ow, my arm. Hello there, Steve Cachet. What do you need by somewhere? Uh, I 
hate my nighttime bill. Wait, where am I putting this? Door. Hang on. Ow, my ear. I'll stop. Um, now yeah, I'll do that another day. I can't focus. Let's go meet Carlia at Nightingale Hall. Glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales. Cut into the mountain side. Oh, are you serious? This one. You're gonna have to wait, Carlia. into the mountainside of the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Okay. This way, please. Interesting.
So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Grinyov? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Oh boy. Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, I'll put on the armor, which I don't want to do. Thank you. Come on. Oh, that's just great. Ready for the oath. Yeah. I do like how I look, but bad it ain't useful to me. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Yeah, whatever. It's enough to make get the armor on, guys. You both look good. We are ninjas. Or whatever these are. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? This is enough to make your head spin, eh? I guess. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for Turn. Both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yeah, let's just do it. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. Yay, I think yay, we should trust whatever. the lass and take the deal. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. I know. What do you think I'm doing? I just can't move very fast because I'm over encumbered. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still not out wait there. To change Let's get this show on the road. Shut up, Brynjolf. I'm standing on the spot. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc. An Empress of Shadow, hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. Oh, hello I was there. wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come. 
come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. I'm a lot You surprise me, yet. Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The, the conditions are perfect. acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your avengers and your sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until the conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Alright. That was interesting. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre, the Skeleton Key. Wow. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. The Skeleton Key is a Daedric artifact, but it does not count towards the, this game's main well, amount. Yes, of, uh, but the, the key isn't only restricted to physical it barriers. Count for some reason. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. Okay. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer, the leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Okay. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. Okay. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Awesome. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. Neither do I. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. <laughs> then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Yeah, we gotta go I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. It will be. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I... Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Aye, and some of what... Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, 
Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. No duh. Until next we meet, Lon. Gotcha. I'm gonna... Put this stuff back on. Live stream again tomorrow. Maybe take a break from it for tomorrow, or just I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more when I'm not so tired. I should have just taken my pill earlier, but now I'm so tired. Thank you for watching, and bye bye. I will see you later.